Hello, I'm Iri, CEO and founder of Supernova, and today I would like to introduce you to our latest invention from Supernova Labs, which is a mighty team exploring what happens when you turn design systems to 11. More specifically, I think we have been exploring quite deeply what design systems will be in the future and what role they play. And I think there is a lot of very interesting use cases, one of which I want to show you today. So we call it the Forge. And the Forge is a technology that will help you to build your next application frontend using the design systems that you love and that you have created. Now, as you can see, I have the Forge opened here. And Forge is sort of natural extension of everything that we do in Supernova. We have data about your designs. We have data about the code. We have the documentation. And now we have brought all of this to help you build your next frontend faster. So what I will do, I will go to my Notion here. And I actually have a product requirements for a team page that my uh, that my product team has tasked me to build. And I really don't want to spend too much time on it because it's already like 10 uh, at the evening, right? So what I will do, I will just take the entire product requirements page, go back to Supernova and ask Forge to help me build this front end representation of the PRD uh, faster. So I would like to ask Forge, uh, please build me um, interface that corresponds to this PRD. And I will just copy paste this, you know, I will not format it or do anything about it. I'll just copy paste this. So you can see that it has correctly identified that we are talking about team page and that we will be uh, building a team page and it will load my design system, use the design system components and the settings uh, that I have selected, like how do I want to style the application and build a front end for the application. So now you can see some code was generated, we'll get to that. But for now I will hide the code editor and uh, you can see that most of the requirements or actually possibly all of them have been created for me. So in here, I have a table with my team members. I have uh, for each team member, I have an avatar, I have name, email, a role that is uh, selected from three real roles that I wanted to define developer, designer, and product manager. I see whether they've been recently active or invited, and I can also remove them. Now, Forge creates front ends fully. So, you can also create functionality, not just visual representation. And the important piece about this is that it only uses your design system. If we go to the code, you will see that I am using Ant design system, just so I have some public design systems that everyone can show and try. Uh, and as you can see, I have imported, or the Forge has imported all of the components necessary for something like this, and then created a very compact actually a representation uh, of this PRD. And that is correct. Like I don't want it to magically invent some new HTML for my components if I already have them, right? So it knows that I it should use a table component to render this table. It knows that it should use model view for invitation of the users and so on. So let's try that it actually works. Let's invite uh, another user. Excellent, it has created me a model with invitation field. And I will write Yiri and use my email. And yes, I'm a developer. I still do that and I'm very much enjoying it. So I will add a new invitation. And as you can see, uh, Yiri with my credential uh, for the avatar, my email and uh, my role, all is here. I can also remove the member, which is great, but I actually don't like the fact that it didn't show me confirmation. I know that um, probably we have forgotten to add this uh, into the requirements. So what I can do additionally is also continue working on the first draft that I had. So uh, it asks me, how do I want to modify my build? So I will just say, um, please add me 
uh, the confirmation when I want uh, when I remove uh, the user yeah that's pretty much uh, everything that should be enough uh, for this to work so what the forge will do is it will sort sort of take the code as like super high priority the previous code uh, we have spent a lot of time figuring out how it can be done so it doesn't touch your code and break it it's very important right um, so it supports the iterative use cases but also modifies what you have actually uh, asked it to do so let's remove a member excellent now we have a removal confirmation so not only uh, do we or we can start from a certain point but we can actually also modify something existing and you can also lo load your own for uh, your own code into the forge uh, such that you can use sort of the reforge mode as we call it uh, on any of the designs that you have created in the past so you don't really have to start from something new you can also use it uh, for existing interfaces as long as you are using your design system as long uh, as you have loaded the code into the system so that's one of the use cases of the forge and i don't want to make this video too long there will be many more videos coming about what the forge can do but i still would like to show you a second use case which i think you will find appealing so now i have basically created the interface but in the real world uh, the interface would start from a designer right designers will uh, precisely create how the design should look like and so the forge of course has this mode as well you can start from a figma design and you can let the forge create it based off of the initial visual representation that your designer has created so we'll create a new forge build and we'll go to figma and in here you can see that i have just downloaded a uh, ant design system visual representation of it uh, the same thing that i am using um, on the code side to actually represent the components and i didn't do really any changes i just loaded it into supernova and i have created a small showcase uh, basically a single login screen now i am no designer so if designers are watching this better with me uh this can definitely be done better but i think for the purposes of this demo it will suffice so what we will do we'll open a node inspector plugin we are uh, using this uh, public plugin to basically allow us to transfer data from figma to forge and we are building our own plugin to make this connection even easier but for now uh, this is where we are and I will select the sign-in form that I have created. I'll copy the form and then I will go to the forge and paste the form. Now it will say that it knows that I'm uh, pasting a Figma design. I will run the forge. And so what it will do, it will basically analyze um, the structural representation of Figma and use the connection between the design representation of design system and code representation of a design system to convert it into actual production ready interface so in here you can see that in figma it looks like this in here it looks almost the same i can visually see that there are some artifacts like for example this still needs to use different fonts as you know uh, I really wanted to show you a real working version of Forge, so it's still not perfect, but we are uh, working on this. And Forge doesn't create just um, a visual representation. It can also infer what the functionality should be. And so in many cases, similarly to the team page, it will also create a functionality. So let's try this. Um, I will uh, say that my username easy as you can see it added uh, a validation as well uh, that cannot be empty uh, it properly inferred that the uh, password should be protected so uh, i will just fill this in i can go remember and uh, sign in of course the sign in functionality would have to be connected by you 
but we have saved quite a lot of time on creating this interface. Um, as I said, there is quite a bit more uh, to talk about in regards to Forge. We are working on Figma plugin, integration with Figma dev mode. We are also working on plugins that would make it easy to use Forge in your IDEs, um, ideally sort of in a very symbiotic relationship with tools like Google Co um, GitHub Copilot. And uh, we will be announcing and showing more videos uh, as we are closer to the release. But the reason why we are releasing this particular video is because we would like to invite uh, some teams out there that have more advanced design systems that would like to test this technology to participate um, in the alpha test. Uh, so uh, there is a waiting list. And if you would, uh, if you apply, uh, we will select some of you to participate. And uh, we would just ask to give us um, unbound feedback so we can make this technology uh, as great as possible. Um, we foresee that we will be launching this somewhere later this year. As you can see, it's working quite nicely, but I think something like this needs to work really well. So it's actually production usable. And so we really want to take our time and make sure that it delivers the value that you would expect from a tool like this. So for now, this is what I wanted to show you. Thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah, let me know what you think.